Hello. So we are back. Probably this is the second part of uh, this repair. So if I remember, I forgot it was like over one week. We diagnosed the board, and uh, I found this, which, which is a USB hub uh, chip. I found it shorted. Okay, so I order one. Then I found the CO chip that. Now the problem with the with the IO chip is I did ask some people they are programming this chip and they said can be a case the chip can be programmed or it can be a case which you solder the chip and uh, it's, it's getting programmed in, in on the board. Uh, oh, anyway, in any case, you, we have to solder the chip on the board and then if the laptop starts, it's fine. If not, we have to program the chip. And I bought a cheap, uh, very cheap programmer, yeah? So if you buy a CEO cheap programmer, it's like 400 or 600 pounds, which is insane. So I found one, I paid, I believe, 80 pounds from, uh, from eBay, yeah? So we have this thingy, and we will be using to program the, the Super IO, yeah? Just using one ribbon cable. If it's not working uh, after we solder the super eye on the board, okay. So let me put this on one side. And uh, first, let's solder back this chip, okay. Now I bought these chips. People ask, from where do you buy chips? From eBay. But on eBay, it's a trick. I mean, you can order the chip from UK and you pay for three times the price of the chip, like this one. Like from China, it's like five pounds. From uh, from UK, is, I, I think I pay like 18, 18 pounds or something like that. Or more. No, I think it was more. Doesn't matter. That's not the idea. And this one was like 15 from... Uh, from UK and like five from uh, from AliExpress or uh, eBay China. Okay, but what you can do, you know, you cannot hold the customer like over one month to order uh, the chips from uh, from China. So let's replace this first. I mean, it's no rush because uh, I'm not confident with my tools. So uh, it's kind of, uh, I will be kind of slow. Okay. So the cheap position, you can see there the cheap position. Let's get the chip out. You need like, you need a while to work with your tools to be confident with your tools. Just to know how much you can push it, you know what I mean. I'm pretty sure everyone knows the feeling of working with new tools. And the tri tricky part here is the hot air. Okay, so we have to replace this one. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, it was a challenge to take the chip out. Let's do it. So what do we have here? We have a chip and the chip position is with the pin number one there, yeah? Like that. Okay, GLA50G. I have no idea how this chip got burned. Let's use some flux, rosin flux. Liquid rosin. Just a little bit.
Now the cheaper to see some new position. Let's get the hotel. Let me grab a nozzle. Yeah. Now let's go with 400. Yeah, let's go with 400. Forty percent air. Okay, just to solder the chip a little bit. Now we can release the chip. And now we can solder uh, this properly in place. You see the chip moved itself to his place. Yeah? So we know for sure that chip is soldered. Cool? I mean, yeah, without reflections is better. Now let's concentrate to our IO chip. The IO chip, we do have few connectors around. We have few connectors around and we have no uh, tweezer. So for uh, CO chips, we need a special tweezer. Let me tune up this. Uh, Tweezer. Yeah, this seems like a proper tool. That should be good. So I will come with the hot air from this side to avoid the connectors. Mm, we do have some components here. The problem, you know how it is. This is a beginner mistake. You have the components here, and if you solder here, the other components from the other side are melting, and when you move the board or something happens, uh, the components will get desoldered from this side. So, uh, let me see how can I do it. How can I do it? Yeah, very simple. Perfect. Okay. So with the hot air from this side, let's apply some flux. Uh, flux. The chip position is with the writing down. Okay. Now let's remove that chip. Uh, this is a ITE. IT89A7E Good, good. Now let me take the nozzle out from the hot air. Good. Let me raise the temperature. Four fifty. Let's try to remove this quickly from here. Yeah. Okay, so we desolder the chip. Does the chip. Okay. That's good. Now let's take the new chip.
Now let's go with the new chip. I'm not even sure how can I solder this just because I don't trust the hot air, like how I said. Mm -hmm. Should we try? Let me apply some flux. Okay, let's use a small nozzle because uh, this is tricky for me. I mean, like how I said, you need a uh, time to get used with the tools. Now let's put the chip on the position. Yeah, I believe that's the right position. Let's come with 400. No, it's a bad idea. Four sixty. Okay, that's better. Now we have the other side pins. That's great. We have this side. Great. And we have this side. Yeah. Okay, we uh, we made it. Now let's be sure this chip is all the wrong place. Perfect. It's kind of uh, weird, you know, to work with this filter and actually I don't see the... I can't see the reflection to know if a solder is soldered properly or not. Yeah, that's better. Uh, Okay, so I can see each pin is soldered properly. Yeah, I can't see any issue with the solder. Okay. Now the big problem is, so we soldered the board chips. The big problem is still this one. Yeah. Uh, still this one. You remember this chip which was blow up and I found it after I closed the first part of the video. Yeah, so this is a big issue, but you know what? I found a schematic, so that can be helpful for us. In order to modify a little bit the schematic and uh, make this working. Now is the moment to see if the chip it will get programmed by itself, or we have to program the chip. Hello, so we are back. Just a quick recap because I don't remember uh, the last video, what I uh, said. 
was like three weeks ago yeah just a quick recap about this laptop so this laptop died because uh, here we have like a chip exploded yeah this one so what happened i found a shorter super io this one uh i ordered a super io replace yeah the io chip then i tried to program the io chip and i couldn't do it i get error it was writing like half of the the ec software and uh, was freezing I, I get errors then i tried to program using uh, only the battery so i tried to charge the battery i made a mistake i blow up the super io again so this got shorted again also the bq chip uh, goes dead so i did replace the io chip after three weeks it took three weeks for this chip to arrive from uh, from here yeah not from china and the bq chip there so i replaced the bq chip so my power rail is present again and the io chip and uh, we can program because people ask about programming program the io chip so what do we have now let's plug the charger let's check some voltages okay so what do we have we have let's see we have on the io chip we have 3.3 you can see on the screen okay on the bio chip okay we have 1.8 which is right okay this is a low power uh, bio chip 8 megabytes so we have to program the super how do we program the super io it's quite simple and you remember we had this chip it's it8 one second i always you know i make a confusion because there are so many it chips it's it8 uh, 9a7e so i made a video a few days ago i fit it and the chip go program itself and everything was fine not this one that one was a cxa cxa got program itself this is a bxa and i'm not sure if it's getting program itself because i programmed the chip and uh, nothing okay so the voltage is present i will use a programmer and i don't want to speak about a programmer uh, this is a copy of the original uh, i don't remember the name let, let me let me let me find the name one second give me one second one second Because I don't want to advertise a fake uh, programmer. Okay. Good. So this is a copy of the successor. I believe that's the one. Yeah. A Vertianov successor. Yeah. So that's what this interface it is. and uh, it's not about money but uh, ordering something from uh, europe or russia and this is a russian thingy uh, it's quite complicated in this moment okay so i connect the programmer to the motherboard i will open the software now these things are very complicated and if i, I could not do it if i don't have the help from um, from the guy from our discord you know the guy which is selling the uh, io chips okay so let's uh, select mode so we have to select uh, it8xxx okay okay settings are good so what do we need Uh, view settings sorry the motherboard and the motherboard i had to add manually the motherboard and the pins okay you can see and again you, to get this kind of info <coughs> is tricky 
uh, the cable I'm using 28 uh, pins, one side, sending the settings to programmer. Okay, then let's write, well, let me open the bin. Yeah, that's the bin. And right now, waiting for connection, one second. Check the connections, mother, okay, let's unplug the power. Plug the power back. And let's try one more time, right? Open. Yeah, it's working. So right now we are programming this chip, yeah, the IO chip. Okay, so it's erasing the chip, then programming the chip. So this chip, the second one, has no issue so I can program the chip without I error so I don't understand why the first chip has so many problems it looks like those chips are different and I bought from different sellers just to make a difference I mean it's not expensive the first one was like 15 this one was like seven seven pound but I had to wait three weeks and it weird because it was saying it's a UK seller <coughs> Okay, so let's wait to, for the chip to get programmed. Now, I don't know what to tell you. My, my advice is if you want to buy the chip, yeah, buy the chip, contact the guy on the Discord. I'll show you, like, next, uh, just wait to finish. I'll show you the guy on Discord. Or if you want info, just uh, write on the Discord chat and you can get info from there. But those things are, uh, you know, all over my understanding power. I mean, I'm more more like a hardware guy instead of a software. Yeah, so everything is fine. You can see the I chip got programmed. Let me disconnect it. And yes, the laptop is not coming on anyway. Unplug the power, let's plug back the keyboard. Now, you have to believe me, I test this mother by check with the schematic. I spent probably like uh, more than one hour just uh, checking the laptop with the schematic, pressing the power button, nothing happened, okay? So, uh, let's have a look on the schematic, okay? But first, yeah, before on our Discord, <coughs> on our Discord, you go on our Discord, and this is the guy, Pistop Computers, yeah. This guy is a pro. So if you want to buy IO chip, programmed, pre-programmed, you have to speak with him. I'm just telling you, if you are looking to do it yourself, you can post here, yeah, so check here. You can post on the BIOS chat, like everyone from here, yeah, you post the motherboard model number, the laptop, and you can get the BIOS and EC software. I'm just telling you to know what to do. There are a lot of people here posting a request for BIOS and uh, EC. Okay? Good. Uh, <clears throat> let's have a look at the schematics quickly, eh? because when you have schematic, it's quite, quite, quite simple and quite easy. You know, when you have a schematic. Okay, so what I checked till now, yeah, because I, uh, I have the schematic. Uh, let's see where the our faults start. So, the component which blow up on the motherboard is this one. Yeah, this small chip. And probably got shorted between the ground and the input, which is the free VS. Okay. Also, this is uh, sending the voltage to the screen. Okay. So, free VS, uh, this uh, power supply, and I have zero volts on the motherboard. But this seems to be normal because FreeVS is created here. 
So you can see FreeVS is a PowerRail free amps, okay? And this chip, yeah, which probably is a power supply, yeah, regulator, uh, is getting the free volts from FreeVO. You can see FreeVO. FreeVO is created in... is created uh, let me found it here this 5 volts and 3 volts power supply so this is the free view okay but this power supply it's on only after the the laptop start so the only part which is alive on this chip is the VREC free VREC free which is uh, free VA which is the uh, standby power for the IO chip okay the IO chip, uh, I will tell you one second, this is the one. On the IO chip you have, uh, you have the standby, free VA, okay, and you have free VS also, okay, after the laptop starts. So, um, I did check the reset. I check. I check the whatever has to be checked when the laptop is off. Okay. Uh, no point changing the change, checking the power good signals and uh, the other things because the board does, doesn't start. So uh, you know I'm kind of stuck, and uh, I was hoping just uh, it's just enough to program that IO chip and the laptop it will work. And I spoke with the guy with, uh, you know, the guy which uh, is programming chips. He sent me another version of the EC software. I programmed that version. The laptop still did. So the only things what is left to do is to program the BIOS. Yeah, a megabytes BIOS, low power, 1.8 volts. We have to program that chip. But the thing is, I don't have a programmer. So I order a programmer from eBay. Let me see. I didn't expect to be that cheap. But yeah, that's the programmer. 729. You see, you bought this item. Uh, it's a trick with this programmer because obviously uh, it comes with. Uh, I believe it's coming with the 5 volts from the USB and actually in 3.3 or wipe 1.8. Anyway, I don't really care about this because I will not uh, use the power from this programmer to power the chip. I will use the power supply. It's more simple. Okay, so after I ordered the programmer, I said, you know what? Still, the fault start from here. I have no voltage. There is zero volts. But what about if we are coming with a voltage on the free VS? And I don't know what happened if you come with a voltage to the free VS. I didn't check yet. But what I checked, and it's interesting, and that's the point where I start the video. What I checked is that free VS line is short at the ground or, uh, or what? Ground with a free VS. And there must be probably like 20 ohms, which is way too low. Yeah, 20 ohms, you can see. So we are on this point. I did order that programmer, but the programmer is fine. So 100% here is something, uh, something more faulty on this board. Now I will try to come with 3 volts. Let's try. I didn't try it. But I'm just curious what can happen. And it's taking 280 milliamps. So I'm just curious what, what, what can get hot. <laughs> Hopefully not the IO chip. I'm just curious because whatever is getting hot is dead. Yeah. 20 ohms is way too low, you know, for a power rail.
Let's see, maybe we can spot something. Two hundred eighty. Can we spot anything on this board? What is that? There is something not hot, and I try to figure it where it is. It's here. You know what is curious? I mean, it's no component on that on that spot, you see? So actually here, it's no component. Must be on the other side of the board, right? Yeah, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Maybe we can uh, find something and fix this laptop without programming the BIOS. Maybe we can fix it today. And on the other side of the board, yeah, what do you think it is? The Realtek Audio IC. <sighs> this one. Yeah, probably this one is getting hot. Because it's exactly on the same spot where we see in the... Uh, Yeah, it must be this one. Let's try and come with the power supply. With the 3 volts. So this is another component. Yeah, it must be here. No, not here. Uh, let me check the schematic. So the real tank. Let me see from where it's getting power. That's the one here. Yeah? What is here? ALC. Yeah, that's the one. 255. And it's getting power for 3VS. You can see 3VS pin number 36. Okay, it's a different pin. Free VS and free VA. Free VS again here. P number 13. I oh, no, no, sorry, that there is a resistor. Oh, sorry, it's a resistor here. Uh, only this one. P number 36. And P number 1. Let me check with multimeter just to be sure. P number one, 
Yeah, yeah. So indeed, the free VS. Uh, it does come to. Uh, I'm not sure if I can. Probably I can't. Let me get a. Yes. Let's try now. Okay, let's see. Yeah, and it's taking 270 milliamps, you can see on the screen. And the chip is mad hot, I can't believe. So yeah, we have more faults on this board, looks like. But the board should start and work even if this is shorted, right? I mean, clearly. I mean, it's not shorted. It's taking 280 milliamps, which is way over what this chip has to take. But let's, let's remove the chip. Let's remove the chip because it's pointless anyway. The chip is shorted. And now I'm asking myself, you know, even if I replace all the components, How this laptop died? I mean, just by shorting three volts to the ground? Because those chips are shorted, you know what I mean? It's not like high voltage came into this power rail. But you see how many components are damaged on this board? That's pretty strange. So now we shall not have 20 ohms on that uh, power rail. Let's check. Do we still have 20 ohms? And no, we don't have 20 ohms anymore. Coming with the power supply. Coming with the power supply and we have uh, 70 milliamps, which is fine. So if we remove the audio AC, the laptop it will start? Probably not. How the laptop can start? I mean, the VS power supply can supply up to 3 amps. And that chip was taking like 200, 300 milliamps. So no, the laptop it will not start. And I'm waiting for the... I'm waiting for the BIOS programmer so I can program the chip. But I'm not very uh, hopeful, you know, about this. I mean, it's so much damage and I don't understand why. Let's plug the fan. The power button is on the keyboard. And no, the laptop doesn't start. <sighs> Checking the voltage. 
we still have 1.8 on the BIOS chip and we have 3.3 on the IO chip I mean it's not much left here just to wait uh, for the BIOS programmer and program the BIOS yeah what you will do I'm curious you know you will choose another way Because I can't see why my IT chip is not starting the board. I can't see why. And the only reason why he will not start the board is because here and here it's a mismatch, uh, mismatch or I don't know. It's not speaking one with the uh, with, with other. Okay, so let's see next video when the program will arrive and we will. Uh, We'll program the BIOS chip, yeah? Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video and see you on the next one. Bye.